what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick made waves with his comments back in March, imploring the country to remain open despite potential health risk as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. He appeared on Far News on the untrustworthy program Tucker Carlson Tonight and returned on Monday night for the first time to gloat about feeling vindicated for his stance. He said there are more important things than living and that's saving this country for my children and the grandchildren and saving this country for all of us. I don't believe him. I think that he really wants to live, which he did admit. He said, I want to live, I want to die. And he ain't going to die, at least no time soon, because he has the best health care and he has runners. He ain't got to go out the house for nothing. He got people to go do all that stuff for him. He don't have to be at risk. He don't have to put himself at risk or his family. They're going to be protected. Donald Trump is going to be protected. Ivanka, Eric, all of them, they're going to be protected. Jared's going to be protected. It is the common man and woman that are going to die. The people with the money, they're going to be all right. The irony here is that the people who have the most money and influence get to call the shots for those who have to take the greater risk. The people who have the money and influence, their risk is minimal. It is the ones, the common man and woman, who has to go out there and make contact. The CEOs, they can work from home. A lot of the managers, supervisors, they can just go up in their office and say, hey, don't come in here, call me. Everybody else got to get out there in the field. See, Dan Patrick, He's not at risk. He said, I'm 70 years old, you know, and if I die, I die. Yeah, yeah fool ain't finna die. Not from Corona. He got the best health care. Politicians have the absolute best health care of coverage. They're not going to die from coronavirus. Maybe they'll get a few of them, you know. I mean, statistics, you know, somebody, somebody got to get it. But there won't, there won't be any major numbers of coronavirus victims who are in politics, especially the big politicians. How many do you know have died of AIDS? Listen to what I'm saying. Do say that Texas has 29 million people. So far, only 500 people have died. About 500 people have died in Texas from coronavirus. So, he thinks that that's worth the risk of getting out there and getting the country back on the road. 500 out of 29 million don't seem like a whole lot. Probably get 500 people die of other stuff within more people die of other stuff in that same stretch. But again, family, this is a new thing and it's important to get this thing under control before it goes totally berserk on the country. And it's totally out of control. And it, it'll just be a lot harder to contain. Now, here's a trip part about a lot of people who are supporting reopening the country right now. And this is against doctor's orders. This is against the experts. Or these are politicians trying to make this call. The doctors, the experts, the people who are on the front lines, the nurses, uh, the people that work in the medical field, the people, the, the scientists, they're saying now ain't the time. They saying the country needs to be shut down longer. Now is not the time. But they want it back open because they want to get Trump reelected. And if they can show that the economy is strong and they can get back on the campaign trail, then they can get him back in office because, you know, some people in this country, all they are is about money. Everything about them is money. They don't know nothing else. Their whole life is money. That's why 
they don't have solid friendships. That's why they can't be in a committed relationship where people are genuine with each other because their whole life is about money. Everything is about money. Money is important, don't get me wrong, but I make money, money don't make me. And some people, if you got money, they, they hold you in high regard. I don't give a damn how much money you got. What kind of person are you? That's what I wanna know. And we've gotten so far from a person's character that we are just at a point of no return. Many of us, we're at a point of no return and we've sacrificed our integrity. Some of us have sold our souls to just be around money, to get a, get a little sniff of that money that other people have. You know, I hear people all the time when I, and I read comments online. Uh, somebody say something about somebody who got a lot of money. Oh man, he got so much money, he ain't worried about you. Oh man, he got enough money to buy you. Man, that man got so much money, man, he ain't thinking about you. Everything, it, it ain't, they don't talk about a person's character, whether that person is right or wrong. They don't try to speak in a logical sense. They just speak based on how much money the person got. And if you ain't, if, if a person ain't got a lot of money, they say, well, you broke, you know, how you gonna say something? You, you, you can't say nothing to me, you broke, you ain't got no money. Everything is about money. And we wonder why we have such a high rate of divorce. Why we have so much, uh, so much anger toward each other even in our own households. People can't even get along for, can't quarantine with people that they live under the same roof of. They can't quarantine and see each other for six weeks straight without falling apart. A couple of months, they're ready to kill each other. All of this stuff, man, about money, getting back to work. Okay, everybody go back to work. And then people start dropping like flies again like what happened in China, then all of a sudden, then what? I say, did everybody who want to go back to work, go back to work, let those Trump supporters get on out there. We sit back and watch what happened. I say, let COVID-19 work its jelly. Then we'll go out there and get the bread. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.